talk about chatting with Virgil. Today we have Lori with Holic Storage and Holic Pool Service. Stay tuned for the interview. Welcome about chatting with Virgil. We have Lori with Holic Pool Service and Holic Storage Service. Is that correct? Correct. So, Lori, tell me about the two businesses. How did they intertwine and how did you get started with it? So, 1983, my husband started his pool service business. He started with 12 pools and then built up and he had spent our bread and butter for all these years. And then two and a half years ago, this opportunity came up. So we started the RV and boat storage. What year was yeah. that? Two years ago. That's two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the pool, how like pool service, how did, when did that start? 1983. Mm. And then how, how's that going? That's good. It's great. It's been our business. He's got a lot of clientele. Um, word of mouth is great. Great. That's how advertisement is. Oh. Better than advertisement. Yes. Tell me how you got started in that business. His dad was a fireman. And you know firemen, how they work three days, four, and then they're off. Well, he started a pool service, and Steve was 16 at that time, going to high school. And he said, here get out, get out. <laughs> it started and then he just kept building and building and building and didn't go into anything else and he's been a pool pool man for how many years for 40 something years wow ups and downs with that the challenges i would want to say no it's been a good business everybody wants to get their pool done yes. and then the breaking parts and all that so no it's been um really good Tell me, tell me about how, how does that work and what is the criteria of what you guys are doing? He's, he services a, service the pool. We don't do building the pool. So he cleans them every week and makes sure the chemicals are all good for everybody to swim. And, and then breakdowns, he fixes those. Okay. And it's good business all year round because pool service in the wintertime, the leaves are falling down. So it's actually a lot more work in the wintertime than it is the summertime. And then the RV and boat storage is, we thought, oh, wow, this is going to be great. Not thinking about people eventually sell their boat or sell their RV. So that's kind of like a turnover, you know. But as soon as we get rid of spots, two or three people call. So that's in demand, too. Because you can't park your vehicles on your outside on the streets anymore. But that storage, how does that work? The people call and then they bring in their boat. They sign a contract. It's month to month, um, or their RV storage, and they come get it whenever they want. Do they come and check on it whenever they want? Yep, they can come. Gates. They know the combo, and then they just pay us. It's low maintenance besides going out and spraying weeds. <laughs> True. We'll yes. Yes. Cost monthly. We, you want me? You want to know the price? I was thinking to ask you about it. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> yes, we're sixty dollars a month. I mean, that's not that bad. Yeah, when I got started, I was like, hmm, what do we charge? What are other people charging? So I kind of called around, and then I was like, you know what? It's just parking. If I had a boat or an RV storage, what would I want to pay? I wouldn't want to pay no hundred dollars or a hundred and fifty. So we ended up with. Between 60 and 65. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, because I would assume it would be like 160 or something. Yeah, no, those are actually for covered ones. We are not covered. Huh. So, and we found that people like the lower price. Yes. So. I actually do believe that people like lower cost. Right. Lower cost, we get more customers. Yes, like we're full. We wish we had more yes. spots <laughs> what available. Plan, what do you plan to do? Retire. <laughs> uh, do you plan to pass it on to anybody else? No, so we had two girls, so they're not boys. Uh, we do have grandsons now, but they're only one years old and two years old, so I highly doubt that my husband will be able to wait till they get to take over the pool service yeah. business, but this will stay with my our, our family business. Uh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. The pool service will probably just 
You'll probably keep it for a while though, because you can be older and keep doing pulls. You just gotta slow down. You won't be able to have 100 pull accounts. You'll have to just get 26. Yeah, that's a good number. I like that, you know, when you're ready to retire, but we're not quite there yet. So what, what um, puts you guys advantage against the other competitors? Um, well, for pool service, my husband is a perfectionist, so he stays at a pool till it's totally spotless. <laughs> yeah. So um, he's been doing it for 40 something years, so he knows what he's doing. Yeah, do you have any like a mission statement? For your business, like do you have like a mission statement? What do you mean by that? My mission statement. Do you have like a mission statement for customer? Like, oh, you work on good good customer service or anything like that? Yes, customers are always right. <laughs> um, you always please your customers. You work for the people. There you go. Yeah. That's good. So my husband is honest in integrity. So that's where he keeps his business going for. A long time and then when we got this started with our name people recognize that so they're like oh, holic you know so who's the boss in this both businesses me of course <laughs> hello the wife is always the boss that's true that's good that's a good one yeah uh, she's the boss so. i'm the boss yes so as a boss what do you what's your part in the business um i'm the bookkeeper so I keep track of all the billing and everything that goes in and out and take care of that part. And then I have to tell him the do's and don'ts on some things. And then he has to tell me what he's done. So sometimes it's like, what'd you do? Give me your list. <laughs> Plus you have like a list of yeah, at the end of the month for billing for the pool service, I have to have his parts that it for fixes. So, oh, okay. so then I go to town on my books and print it out and mail it to the people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Oh. yeah. For put rep uh, repairs and parts. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not the service. It's a set pr price. So when you uh, get the parts for fixing up the parts that need to be fixed, do you have like a certain location? Do you order stuff online or you guys usually just go? Oh, no. We're, we're, um. Because we, there's different locations you can buy parts. Yeah, no, we go to the warehouse where all the pool builders and the pool companies and the stores go to. What advice would you give to a new entrepreneur that's starting out the business? Yes, so America is a land of opportunities. You just, when you get something and you want to go for it, you do it. And I always said, when you're self-employed, your business comes first, and then your bills, and then your food. So you make sure you always keep your business afloat because that's your business, and you just keep building on it. Oh, yeah. Good yeah, yeah. Some people, they go big, and then all of a sudden they go bankrupt. But I'm the old-fashioned way where you pay your pool service first, like your gas, your supplies, and all that, and you keep that going, and then it all comes around so it starts small start small grow big yeah Got it. Wow. yeah or that's the way we did it yeah so i'm more like my husband started with 13 pool accounts when he was 17 years old and built to you know 100 plus good advice yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay so and so there was no challenges you, you're um in your starting the business or anything any hiccups that have Come along the way, any stories that you have? Any, oh, well, oh. I have a whole life story. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, 35 years, so yes, there's always stories. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> life goes up and down with, with life, but you just kind of stick through it and you have your ups, you have your downs. The business is not, but you know, just life in general. Kids. Just the whole picture, but you just keep pushing forward, trusting God, and go. That is a good, good yeah, thing. yeah, God. yeah. Wow. So you heard it here from Maury. You know, keep on trucking, keep on believing, and trusting God. Yes. So and all will be well. 
Yes. That's how your business, I'm assuming that's how yes. your business is going. Yes. Oh, right. Okay, well, thank you, Lori, for stopping by at Chatting with Virgil. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the button and do like, comment in the below, and we'll see you for the next one. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.